Football is a game of skills, tactics, and sometimes tempers. It's a sport that has gifted us with unforgettable moments of glory, defeats, and drama. But on a sunny Super Sunday, Stamford Bridge became a stage for something truly remarkable. A clash that went beyond goals and tackles. This is the story of Chelsea vs Tottenham, a game that will forever be remembered for the fiery encounter between two managerial titans, Thomas Tuchel and Antonio Conte. Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur, a rivalry as old as time in English football. Not versus West London, two teams that have clashed more than just on the beach. This rivalry has always been steeped in history, pride, and sheer intensity. But this isn't just any London derby. For the fans, players, and even the managers, this is personal. Over the years, Chelsea have dominated this fixture, its famous victories that have failed their supporters' sense of superiority. Tottenham, always chasing, have often been left playing catch up. But on this warm Super Sunday, none of that history mattered. It was all about the present. Thomas Tuchel, a cerebral tactician, known for his ability to outthink his opponents. In 2021, Tuchel had guided Chelsea to the pinnacle of European football, winning the Champions League in just a few months after taking charge. He brought a methodical approach, driven by tactics, structure, and attention to detail. On the other side, Antonio Conte, a man Chelsea fans know all too well, Conte had brought the Premier League title to Stamford Bridge in 2017 with his fiery passion and relentless energy. Now in charge of Tottenham, his mission was to do what had eluded Spurs for decades: win silverware. The 2008 Cup are Hotspur. In the days leading up to the match, the tension was already bubbling. Both teams had made statements in the opening week of the season. Chelsea had edged out Everton with a narrow victory. Jorginho versus Pickford. In it goes! Inside that post now! While Tottenham had dispatched Southampton with ease. Sessegnon! Goal for Spurs, the equaliser! Kulazewski! Yes! The narratives in the media built up the battle as a defining moment for both teams. This is a real test for them that they know if they pass, there's a, a real belief that not just top four, but third place is, is certainly in the offer. It will be a, a difficult game. It will be important to make a right, right evaluation no, about our improvement. I don't believe everything that Antonio Conte says in, in games like this before games and after games. I believe strongly that every team he trains competes for everything. For Chelsea, it was about proving their credentials as tied to challengers. For Tottenham, it was about showing they could compete with the Premier League elite. And for the fans, it was a chance to renew one of the fiercest rivalries in English football. And then it began. From the first whistle, you could sense the intensity. Chelsea set up in Tuku's trademark 3 4 3 formation. They pressed high dominated possession and played with the confidence that only comes from meticulous preparation. Tottenham, under Conte, looked to absorb pressure and strike on the counter-attack. The opening minutes were KG, both teams testing the waters, but it didn't take long for the first breakthrough. Chelsea's Kai Havertz nearly opened the scoring. Moments later, Kalidou Koulibaly stunned everyone with a stunning volley from a corner. Yeah. 
this ignited Stanford Bridge. The Blues were ahead, and Tuku's men were in control. But no football match involving these two clubs would be complete without controversy. In the 68 minutes, Tottenham found an equalizer, but it wasn't without drama. Chelsea were incensed, not by the goal itself, but by the foul that should have been given in the build-up. Kai Havertz was clearly taken down by Rodrigo Bentaco, but Chelsea's favourite referee, That's what she said. Anthony Tilo, allowed play to continue. Tottenham seized the opportunity, and Pierre Emil Hoiberg strike found the back of the net. The Chelsea bench erupted. Too cool on the sidelines could hardly believe what he was saying. The Stanford Bridge faithful jeered in disbelief, but the goal stood. The injustice foiled Chelsea. They pressed harder, faster, and more aggressively. And in the 77th seven minute, their persistence paid off. Ryan Sterling broke forward, slipping the ball into Rich James, who calmly slotted it past Hugo Lloris to restore Chelsea's lead. Stanford Bridge erupted once more, the home fans in raptures. Tsuku's joy was uncontainable. He sprinted down the touchline in show of pure emotion, fists pumping in the air as the fans roared in approval. Chelsea had one hand in the victory and it felt like justice had been served. But just when it seemed Chelsea had secured the win, Another moment of controversy unfolded. Deep into stoppage time, Tottenham earned a corner. And as the ball was delivered, Christian Romero grabbed Marco Cruella by the hair and pulled him to the ground. A blatant foul that went unpunished. The Stanford Bridge crowd erupted in fury, but no whistle came. Seconds later, the ball was whipped in once again and Hurricane rose the highest to head it into the net. Did a good corner top them here, and they've got it! Harry Kane got the touch, and it's 2-2! Two -two. Tottenham had equalised in the dying moments. The injustice stung Chelsea fans even more. The foul on Cucurella, the dramatic equaliser, and the feeling that this game was slipping away. Tuku was beside himself, raging at the officials, as Kane celebrated in front of the travelling Spurs supporters. It was a moment that encapsulated the chaos and emotion of this London derby. In the blink of an eye, Chelsea's victory had been stolen from them. In the final whistle blew, but for Thomas Tuchel and Antonio Conte, the match was far from over. As Conte approached Tuchel for the traditional post-match handshake, Something unusual happened. Tuko, clearly still furious from the match's controversies, held onto Conte's hand just a little too long. And it's finished. Oh, oh, it hasn't finished. It's only just started. A look of defiance crossed his face. Conte, not one to shy away from confrontation, retaliated. Words were exchanged. Tempers fled. What was supposed to be a simple handshake became a physical altercation, one that would be replayed endlessly in the days that followed. Both managers had to be restrained as the tension spilled over from the dugouts onto the pitch. The handshake that should have symbolized respect became a flashpoint, a symbol of the raw emotion and passion that football can ignite. It's Premier League football and the two managers got involved today because both of us were fighting for our teams. This is not uh, a big problem. I think this is not important. If there is a problem, uh, the problem is between me and, uh, and the other coach. In the hours and days that followed, the football world was divided. Some sided with Suku, sympathizing with Chelsea's frustration 
over the refereeing decisions. <laughs> I, I, I quite like Thomas Tuchel for doing that because, of course, he lost his rag a little bit before that. But you're right. If you're gonna, you've, you've, you've nicked a point at, at Stamford Bridge. I mean, at least when you shake my hand, you should be gl back gleaming. Look at me when you, yeah, when you yeah, shake my hand. But Thomas Tuchel's not letting him go, is he? He's come back here. Let you look at me first before you leave. <laughs> Others backed Conte, applauding his resilience and refusal to back down. Yeah. Conte's not giving up, is he? Conte's got that little nasty from the playing side of Ryan. Both managers received red cards after the final whistle and fines were inevitable. But more than the official sanctions, this clash of personalities between Tukul and Conte became an iconic moment. It transcended the results of the match, becoming part of the folklore of this fierce rivalry. For both Chelsea and Tottenham, the 2-2 two -two draw would fade into a backdrop of a long Premier League season. But the encounter between Sukul and Conte would endure, forever etched in the minds of football fans worldwide. It wasn't just about tactics, formations, or points. It was about pride, emotions, and the high stakes that come with every inch of this storied rivalry. But the clash at the bridge would leave a mark on both managers. For Tuku, it was a moment that revealed the intensity of his commitment to Chelsea. For Conte, it was a reminder of his fiery spirit and refusal to concede an inch, no matter the opponent. In football sometimes, the most memorable moments aren't just about the goals. They are about personalities, the tempers and the emotions that turn a game into a spectacle. The handshake at Stamford Bridge was one of those moments, a symbol of what this sport can do, both on and off the pitch. And as always, in football, there would be another chapter to this saga. <laughs>